Hi, I'm Tony Spacey. Welcome to another episode of Get Hooked with the GAC Derby. What we're going to show you today is one or two tips in and around the shop. Something we get asked quite often, there's lots of confusion as the best way, the worst way, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. What happens if you get a fish hook in you? What we're going to show you today is an easy way of removing a fish hook. Now I'm sure we've all heard the stories, if you get a fish hook in you, push the barb all the way through, snip the barb off and then push it all the way back. It's never really struck me as a good idea that once you've got a fish hook in you, you've damaged a certain amount of your flesh. I don't think it's a good idea. I've never been sold on the idea. The best way to take it out is to push the hook all the way through and damage as yet undamaged flesh in the process. I would just want the hook taken out as quickly and as painlessly as possible. So that's what we're going to do today. Next thing is to select the hook. We don't want anybody to say they were debarbed or barbless. We want it to be a real demonstration. Obviously, I'm not going to go ridiculous. You're not going to see me stick a size 10 shark hook in my hand, although the bushwhacker and one or two is sitting on the sidelines would probably like that. I think to make it a good demonstration, um, let's have a look. How about a size 8 TMC saltwater hook? So it's a fair size hook. And I'm quite sure it's a sort of hook that no one would voluntarily want to get in them. The way this will work is when the hook's in you, if you pull the hook straight out, it gives the chance for the bob to take a grip and get a purchase. What we're doing by pressing down on the eye and then pulling low down, we're pulling the hook out in that direction so the barb is shrouded by the back of the hook. So we're not giving the chance. It's very important. You must press the eye down and then pull out horizontal. We are using a TMC stainless steel saltwater hook. However, what we don't know is how clean they are in their point of manufacturing. I'm not going to take any undue ridiculous risks, so I am going to use an antiseptic wipe both on my skin and on the hook. I'm prepared to suffer a little bit for my art but I don't want to have any bacterial infections as a lasting legacy from it. So thing is now get a good grip on the able pliers and here we go. That is in. Now, the technique we need, yes, it did make my eyes water somewhat. We need someone, a willing volunteer. So here we are, we'll have Tat from the showroom. You want to come around this side, Tat? What we do, we take the loop of monofilament or wire, you pass it over the shank of the hook, so it's then against the back of the loop of the hook. The trick of this is to push down very, very heavily on the eye of the hook and do not pull the wire the way this moron is showing you. You've got to pull the wire very low down, close to the skin. The whole idea is that if you can zoom on to get a close-up of the hook, as the wire is going to be pulled out, the hook is going to come out backwards with the as he's just done it, and it's popped out too soon. Thank you, Tat. <laughs> I've now got to put the hook back in. <laughs> I told you it come out easily. <laughs> it comes out easy and it goes in. Right, we'll try that again. So, we'll take the hook and pull it in. past the bob. That's well and truly in. You may have even heard the pop as the barb went in. Now we need a beautiful assistant. We haven't got one at the GAC, so we've got Tat. If you'd like to come into shot now, Tat. 
there's even realistic blood so there's no doubt at all this hook is in. Now if you take the loop we're going to pull on the hook while I press down on the eye and hey presto it should pop out. Are you ready? Yes, pull. Ah, pull! <laughs> Do not pull up as a start, pull down and as you saw the moment he pulled down okay. the hook just popped straight oh. out. The hook does pop out and I can assure you apart from the blood it really really doesn't hurt to take it out. It hurts far more on the way in, actually on the way out it's painless and really does just pop out. Obviously if it bleeds a lot depending on the depth that it's gone in then cover it up put a dressing on it. The only time you should never ever ever use this technique is if you have a hook anywhere around your eyes where it's likely to touch your eye or damage your eye. If that's the case you must put a pad all around your eye and bandage over both eyes. It's vital that you do cover up both eyes. The reason being is mostly your eyes work together so if you leave one eye the good eye uncovered and the person then with the hook in the other eye starts to look around you can have the situation where the hook's being moved against the eye. It's vital, pad all the way around it, put a light dressing over the top, over both eyes so they can't see. You must, 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 100% of the time, if that should occur, seek medical treatment and go to a hospital. As we've seen in your arm or any other part of the flesh, it's very, very easy. The rule is press down on the eye, push low to the skin with the wire, and out pops the hook.